So now let's begin to apply these very octave lines that we've learned. Let's apply them in your regular song, the ones that you play in church, you play in your fellowships and all that. So the song we're using now is Emila by Nathaniel Bassi. So the first one. I'll apply this very simple one at two different positions. One at the middle when the progression is leading to uh, A minor. Then at the end, at the turnaround. So what do I mean turnaround? Turnaround is um, usually a space or a movement that you play at the end of a piece of song or at the end of a sequence that leads you back to the beginning. So say our song is a move. You, you, you hear that rest. Is a move. Nothing is happening there. So we introduce a turnaround. Is a move. Turn around. Go. So I did La T as turn around. So this lattice like, space is where we're going to play our same octave line second time. So we go back to the first one with the music now. Now we go one, two, three, go. Yeah, we're chilling. Get ready. One, go. Yeah, that leads to our A minor. Now wait for the turnaround. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So the first one I played it on the third beat. E mela, C major seventh, E mela, G add ninth, O kaka, D minor seventh, O ye kero, one, two. Now the chord goes to E minor. Then E mela is a move. Three, four, one. So now the, the um, turnaround results to a one chord. So you don't want to stay on your lap. So I did sol la do re mi do la so. Then the song starts again. We go back to the second octave line. Now I'm going to play this on the fourth chord, on the fa chord. And I will start, I will play it right on the second beat. So we will have e mela, e mela, oh, ka, ka. One, two. Now this la lands us on our fa chord, our F major chord. So we play. One, two, three, four, one. So we go back to the third one. Now, if you if you um, observe the the notes of this one, you know that this is obviously your major ninth, your C major ninth playing here. So, so anyway, we're going to play it on the do chord, and somehow this last that we, um, that we ended on will lead us to. So I'm going to be playing it right on the second beat when the progression is on our one as C major seventh. So and you know C major seventh started the is the song progression. That means this line is going to be coming in much early. So Amen. that's what we're going to be playing it but on the second beat. So as you mean one, two, three. Amen. All right. So we go. One. You see that? So I'm going to play it right again now. So one, go. One. Right, so you see that? That's how easy it is to apply this thing too. Anyway, we'll go back to the fourth one now. Now this one. I'm going to be applying it on um, the um, our fourth chord on our fa. So where there's a fa major seven, that's our F major seven. That's where I'm going to apply it. And the timing, I'm going to start playing it right on the first beat, right on 
the strong beat. So we go. Yeah. One, yeah, three, four. One, two, three, four. So why did I do that? I ended on Sami. Me is um, the seventh of our family, just seventh. So that's why I'm just like, okay, it makes sense. And one thing with them. Um, improvisation and playing leagues over chord your resolution your destination is what actually matters you could move about from jigawa to gombe it just is where you finally want to settle down and you can see ahead that okay i go to jigawa i go then i land at just yes it makes sense like that so you could do a lot of things just have a resolution point like okay biro body why am i ending on me because there is me in the um, in our far major seventh. That's why I did that. So anyway, you see, and um, all the time I keep saying I did it on um, this beat, on the strong beat, on the weak beat, on the first, on the third. You know, you could choose to decide. You could do an off of the first beat, on the first beat. You know, on the second beat. However, that's where personal creativity and uniqueness comes. So people just the. They, they like to start their skates from the second beat, second beat. Why don't you change, Oga? Why don't you do something new, all right? So these are just a few tips to inspire you. Anyway, I've not forgotten now. We're going to the fifth one, the last one, all right, so. So obviously, I'll just end this one on a A minor chord, on the La. Wherever I find La, I'll just do something. And maybe before the light's coming, I'll just do it and finally end the lap. Or I could do it on fa. But anyway, let me do it on la. So because this one is long, you have to really calculate when practicing anyway. You have to calculate, okay, how, where, which count, and will I start this very one so that it lands me on the desired um, destination. So I have done my calculation and I realized that um, if I start on the fourth beat, when the chord is on the um, second, which when the chord is on our D minor seventh, and I play, uh, sorry, and I play, this La lands me right on the position where the chord changes to our uh, A minor seventh, which is our La minor seventh. So that's how I do it, and that's how. I want you to do it so guys you need to take your time to practice you know you don't just jump on stage and just um, um, let uh, and just pray for the Holy Spirit to do the magic study to show yourself approved right so you need to sit back and do so your own calculations like okay now where will this leak fit where does it fit you know you have to do it practice all right practice practice so anyway let's play now and see how and see if it makes sense one two go one two three four one two get ready now one two three yeah 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 that's what i'm talking about so you see how it landed remember what i told you about um when you're building your skills, more, what matters more is your destination, where you're resolving. So I know that I'm going to um, Kogi State, which is my A minor here. So I started my coaching from um, from Delta. Then I went to Bender. Is this the Bender State? Anyway, I went to Bender. Then at this point, I was already at um, Bendway State. Then this is Plateau. Then lands me to where I'm going all right so that's how it works so you have to take your time practice at home practice is not just a, it's not just speed that finger exercise you need to do calculations like okay I want to um, I've learned this like how do I apply it here okay let me use them um, let me calculate it if I play it um, three meters or whatever I play it two seconds away or on the second beat and on the um, previous progression is it gonna land me at my desired destination, that's how to go, that's the way to go guys, alright, catch you in the next class.